sisters, come on in. Y'all see the new movie? I'm coming in to, to take my seat. Come on, come on in with y'all hood girl. Come on in, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks that sit and chat with who? Me, the hood girl to the hood. Y'all, we got some pig feet. <laughs> oh, yes, I had to do a video with this one. Mm -hmm. Leftovers from Nikki House. And we have some veggies, y'all. Uh, Yeah, leftovers as well. Uh, we are now in a new month, a new season. Get ready for your blessings. This is scene two. Take one. Let's roll the tape. How y'all doing this beautiful Sunday day? I hope church was really good for you guys because it was good for me. Uh, y'all, as y'all see, we have some pig feet, cabbage, black eyed peas, rice, and cornbread muffin leftovers. Here you go. Take what you want. Mm -hmm. They're good to y'all. Let's say prayers. Thank you, God, for this another beautiful, beautiful, blessed, humble day. Oh, Father God, just... Are our steps in your word. Speak to us, Lord. Use us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, this is lunch for me. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to cook because we have a lot of leftovers. So look here. This is going into a new week. May blessings pour upon you and your family. So, salute, salute, let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. Oh, I love that water. That water, water. Y'all, let's get this hot sauce ready for these pig feet. Y'all, I've had a whole lot of days off, but tomorrow, back to the drawing board. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but I have a job. So for that, I thank God for it. So, mm, that muffin is just good. I really put my foot in that muffin. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing wrong for some leftovers. I've had fun. For my last seven, eight days off. <laughs> it was hot. Oh, mm, 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 mm. I knew that was hot, y'all. Y'all see that smoke? Oh, good gracious. Mm. Y'all, my birthday gonna be coming. Again. I don't know. But the COVID situation gonna be about, but I want to go somewhere. I probably can't fly, uh, but I don't mind driving. I'm gonna drive somewhere, maybe to my favorite place by the water. It's just like four hours away uh, at uh, Corpus Christi or South Padre Island. One of them. Those were my places that I went to three and four times a year just for relaxation, you know, walking on the bay, walking on the marina, talking to the fishermen, you know, um, and I miss it, you know. Last year, the cards were what they were. We didn't know that. Uh, we was going to go through what we went through, but it was all for a reason. And y'all know, sometimes God just have to sit us down sometime, you know. A lot of things happen. We lost, we gained, you know. And I thank God for the whole year. I don't know what's coming this year, but I believe I'm ready. Because I know God is in charge of all things. Every. Thing. 
You know, I was talking yesterday to somebody and I said, you know, I think it was talk I was talking to Betty. It's one thing to know God. It's another thing to trust God. And it's another thing to be obedient to God. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be, mm, why do I keep that house of my mouth? Mm -mm 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 -mm. But it's so, 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 so good. I believe that, um, A lot of people found themselves. A lot of people went into depression. A lot of couples divorced. A lot of things happened. But I will I want I would want to know, did you learn anything? Did you learn anything? Did you grow anywhere? You know? Y'all, I'm ready for these pig feet. Uh, I guess I'll eat these once a year. <laughs> Here you go. All that good hot sauce. Yum, yum. Give me some. Mm. Mm. Who knew that I would start eating pig feet again? I won't cook though. I ain't going to cook it. I'm not going to eat it from a restaurant. I'm only going to eat it from Nikki's house. Well, I did uh, log into my computer, my work computer. Because I didn't want to get to work in the morning and have a million emails. Because, you know, I was off for a whole week. So... I didn't want to, so I didn't have no, I ain't have a lot of emails, but I, I, I did what I did with them. So hopefully tomorrow, it's going to be smooth sailing. I want to start training on my new uh, adventure, y'all. I had asked uh, the lady that I interviewed if she had a manual to send me. You know, I could be reading it. I could have been read, reading it all week. But she didn't send me anything. So, no. Y'all, I was looking for some RVs. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm serious about retiring in five and a half years. Should that be God's will, that is. And uh, the monthly notes are in my will be in my budget. <laughs> for real, I will travel, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm already, I'm already excited about it. You know, I'm going to say this again. Y'all heard me say last week, last episode, last video, wherever video, video and video. Are you living or are you just alive? I'm living. You know? Sometimes we just got to get out. The box, you know, a comfort zone. Sometimes you got to jump over that damn box. Because sometimes some of us will put one leg over the box. And then we see everything on the outside of that box and we get scared and we come back in the box. Get outside your box, out your comfort zone, live. My God, it's a lot of stuff to do. And it don't, a lot of stuff don't even cost you nothing. Go outside and just breathe, you know? Mm-hmm. And I told my sister, she was like, I'm bored, ain't nothing else to do, girl. I was like, girl, you got a brand new house. You got a beautiful backyard. Pitch a tent. Do a picnic in your backyard with your husband. Pour the wine. Eat fried chicken. Eat tuna sandwiches. Whatever. 
It's always something to do. We sometimes we have to create our own fun. Mm hmm. Our own fun, you know. So sometimes we just gotta create our own fun, you know. Why every time I record and people wanna call me? That's my son. He will have to wait. So I'm done. Mm. This food is good. I got my car. My blue angel got beautiful today. You know, Shamadra is my neighbor uh, with the with the little son that I love. Her husband uh, washed my car today. He detailed my car. Yeah, that's his side hustle. So, Some, you know, sometimes you gotta. Support your small business people. Us, that is. One thing a pastor told me many, many years ago. We all live in these black neighborhoods and yet we have all these oriental people manning the businesses. Why are we not having those businesses? Why? Are uh, we not in those buildings in our neighborhood? Keeping the money in our neighborhood. Why? Time now. What they took from us, we getting ready to get it back. I know I'm smacking y'all. <clears throat> but anytime you have to suck some bones, that's what you're going to hear. That's how. You're going to suck them bones. I should have told David to give me a couple of them ribs they had. It was good. That riblet, really good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Damn. Ooh. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I'm at 498. Two more subscribers. I'll be at 500. So share me out, y'all. Bring your family to me, your friends, your co workers. <laughs> Send them on to me. I think I'm going to do a giveaway should I get the 500. You know? As Lynn said yesterday uh, in her uh, video, you know, when you don't have a backing like a big YouTuber, that can share you out and then before you know it, you got 31,000 people. You know, some of us, like myself, we have to work really hard for the numbers, you know? I don't mind working hard too. I don't mind. So, come to me fast, come to me slow. Cause just come on. And for all the others, thank you for sticking and staying. <laughs> for real. Thank you for sticking and staying. Because you didn't have to do it. And you don't have to do it. But you do it. Mm. Ooh. 
That's good. Look at all them jalapenos again, y'all, in that bread. I'm going to do these muffins again. Because I was looking for some uh, packaged cornbread mix. And um, a lady uh, was right there. And she said, well, try these. I think it's Texas something. I like that cornbread mix. I thought Morrison's was good. I, I thought mm -mm, that one I bought was in the blue pack, y'all. It had like three different uh, kinds. So I got the <clears throat> sweet kind. But I just added the... Um, Jalapenos. It's good. Mm. I'm getting full. Maybe because it's my first time I eat, ate today. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're about to run out of time anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm full. <laughs> I did put a dent in the plate, though, y'all. Mm-hmm. Because I love beans. Give me beans and rice all day. See? I did put a dent in that plate. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, there it is. Are y'all still eating leftovers? Some of the dogs. Mm, mm, mm. When I retire, I'm gonna have a dog out. I'm gonna get my little miniature Yorkie. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'm gonna name her Sophie. Mm hmm. Mm, boy. There we go, y'all. Time to sing ourselves out. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to sing yourself out? Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm full of two, y'all. Thank y'all for sticking to stand, my sisters. I love y'all. Let's sing ourselves out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever you do today, do it good. Do it with a purpose. And of course, do it with genuine love. I love y'all. Bye-bye.